Welcome back YouTubers. Today we're going to do a quick tutorial on navigating table names and column names. Why do you care? Well, if you want to configure these really cool monitors, you need to know what table of data it's coming from. In the world of M3, there's probably about 3,000 active tables. Maybe 10% of those you're actually going to use. When I say table, what do I mean? What's a table? Well, a table is a collection of data for a specific function within the system. So, Item Master has a table of data. Order Entry, Order Headers have a table of data. Those are tables in the system. So, let me just show you why and what. For these monitors, for instance, if I wanted to look at how they're configured, you'll see that each one of them references a particular table of data. Do not get intimidated by this. This is not a challenging thing to figure out. So, usually the tables coincide with programs, for the most part. Not always true, but let me show you how to figure it out. Two ways. So let's, for instance, I have a few orders that are on credit stop. What table of data? How can I figure that out? Well, let's look. I'm going to go into my monitor. Here's my orders. I'm going to drill into it. The first and easiest way to do this is just right click in the field. Easy. Right click, advanced, show field information, and there's the table OO head. Very easy and simple. Most fields throughout the system, you can use that function to figure out what table. In addition, notice the field name. Also, the table corresponds with these two characters here. Just more of a fun fact, and that way you understand you're on the right kind of flavor there. All right, so OO head, that's what we're dealing with there. You can do that with Item Master as well. Here I have some random items. I click into it, I right click, and look at my field information table, mint mass, field, PDLN. So you're going to use those two things throughout the system when you're creating views, you're altering a couple of things, you're creating these monitors. Very easy to find that out. One other way I'm going to show you how you can find out field names as well as table names is use a tool called Metadata Publisher. Say that 10 times fast. Do it with me, ready? Perfect. Okay, so let's go. Hit these, uh, I think the technical name is hamburger. And then part of the admin tools is this program called M3 Meta, M3, see, I can't even say it. M3, Ma M3 Metadata Publisher. It's pretty intuitive. I might even have had a video from a few years ago on how to use it, but now this is part of the cloud suite and a tool available for you. So in this case, let's just say, you know what? I'm gonna type in OIS 300 because I'm a smart M3 guy and I know that's a computer program. And then when I say search, it lets me know that, hey, these are all the tables associated to it, and you'll notice that only a couple are read, write, update, and there's OO head. If it's read, access, those aren't the main tables. Essentially, what you want are the ones that have update in there as well, and when I click on that, I then have all the field names that's part of that table. Remember when I said OA, 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 isn't there a song about that? Anyways, that's how you do that and that's how you access that. So some of my other videos, you're going to need to know that because I'm going to configure some cool monitors. Hey, stick around for some more videos and make sure you hit the subscribe button below for some more cool content.